So do you either not get any views on TikTok or don't know where to start in terms of editing? If you answered yes to either of those questions, I'm going to be helping you out today and showing you my method on how I make my own TikToks. If you guys do enjoy videos like this, you want to support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps out a ton. With that being said, I'll see you guys on my PC. And I forgot to mention, I'll have a free preset pack down below in the description for you guys to check out. It is 100% free, no strings attached. So go check that out. That'll be the first link in the description. And I hope you guys do enjoy the video. All right, guys. So when it comes to TikToks, it's super basic. But I'm going to be going over my four or five step plan. Uh, not sure what really classifies as a step throughout this, but I'm pretty much going to be taking you through my editing process of how I do that, explaining things, explaining uh, how you can do it yourself. And uh, yeah, the first step is uh, open your editing software. So for me, it's DaVinci Resolve 18. You can easily follow along with this. Uh, even if you edit on another software, like let's say After Effects, I highly recommend just getting DaVinci Resolve to do your shorts or your TikTok. It'll just take your stuff to the next level. Uh, so once you're actually inside of DaVinci Resolve, you just can go new project and I'm going to go... Uh, uh, tutorial short or something like that one for example and from there i'm gonna go into the edit tab i'm gonna go file i'm gonna go project settings the cool thing about davinci resolve 18 is we can automatically go vertical resolution then we're gonna change our frame rate to 60 press save normally if you are doing a tiktok people typically record a separate intro but if you don't and you're just doing something like gameplay i mean you could just directly drag that in but this tutorial is heavily based on actually having an intro and editing that intro itself so i highly recommend you go and record an intro show and you really want to make sure it's captivating and makes the viewers want to actually stay to watch the rest of your short so we actually have both of our layers of our intro right here so i'm just going to overlay them on top of each other i use uh separate individual some of the seven so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure that i have them aligned and then i will get rid of the unnecessary tracks that i don't need and what i'll do is i'll link these together this is kind of unnecessary a lot of you guys won't have a problem with this if you're just recording with a webcam or something for example um so yeah this is my intro itself and i'm going to cut it down to to the duration that we actually need so some of the setups that i checked out in my new video were so bad that they should be illegal so that's pretty much my intro itself uh what i'm going to do from here obviously we can see there's black on either side you could either zoom it in all the way and adjust the position to get your head in the middle of the frame or what you can do is you can zoom it in like this you can duplicate the layer make the bottom one slightly bigger to fill it out and i bet you a lot of you guys have actually seen this you'll just go to your open effects and add something like a gaussian blur to the bottom layer and then from there what you can do is you can increase the blur some people do that so, some of this so pretty much what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be getting rid of this and I will get rid of the blur and you know, I'll just do a standard uh, setups that I checked like out this. So some of the setups that I checked out in my new video were so bad that they should be illegal. So the next thing we're going to do, the next step uh, after cutting it down, I guess, is we're going to add some subtitles. So the easiest way to do this, you just come over here to your open effects, come down to your titles, you just drag on a text thing. And then from there, we're going to edit the subtitle settings that we actually want throughout our entire intro. So for me, I use the luckiest guy font right here and I'll change the color to like a yellowish orange thing. And then I add a three point uh, black stroke using this effect and then i'll use a negative four offset x drop shadow then from there i go to settings and i bring it down to a suitable level kind of around my chest height so some of and then from there what i do is i will find i'll have so some of the i'll have that in my first line so i gotta find where that ends so some of the set, the set, the set. so we can actually see it ends here and i'm gonna change this to so some of the, and then if it's too big, I'll shrink it down a bit. Set up. So I'm pretty much going to go along here some of the setups that I checked out and subtitle the entire thing just by, you know, finding the line that I want to do, cutting after it, changing the text, and then doing that all the way throughout. So I'm actually going to pick up in a second just when I actually get all this done. So I'll see you guys after that. So I'm actually partially through here and I'll quickly just show you guys something if you want to emphasize a specific word. Uh, so for example, I have bad right here. I'm going to highlight it and then I'm just going to change the color to red. And then I'm going to change the stroke color for that to white. So that just kind of, you know, adds this around the bad differentiates it from the rest of the sentence and i just think that's something cool that can kind of engage the audience but yeah just thought i'd show that to you guys and uh show you guys how to do that 
All right, so I actually have it all done. I'm gonna quickly show you guys what it looks Some like. Some right of now. the setups that I checked out in my new video were so bad that they should be illegal. So that's my intro right there. Uh, super simple. From there, I'm actually gonna add a marker because obviously we're gonna show the actual content part of the video. And I mean, if you're doing a sneak peek of a video that you've like already posted, you're posting in the future on the channel, something you could easily do is you can literally just find the high quality version of the video that you've already posted on your channel. And then you could just drag in so that and then just find a random part of the video right here. Let's say we wanted to use this part. Drag it over by Folix. He and then we'd zoom it in and we'd probably do the blur method for this just because I mean, realistically, a lot of people are not going to want to watch a setup video where you have it super zoomed in. So we're going to do blur method, blur the background right here, super basic. This. He and then if we wanted to, we could really adjust these, move them over to the side of it. Submitted this. But yeah, that's pretty much what I do in terms of the body of my video. Uh, at the very end, I mean, if you're doing a sneak peek or like showing a video you've already posted, like I said, you know, texting full video on my channel. Uh, but the next step, you know, step one was cutting down the clip. Step two, subtitle. Step three, the body footage. Step four is actually be transition. And then step five is going to be the final intro and music touches. Uh, so I guess it was a five step plan for transition. Pretty much what we're going to do, go to the effects tab, adjustment clip, drag it to where we actually added this marker after our intro, go into the fusion tab, find one of the transition presets I'll have in the description for 100% free. You drag in the down transition, for example. We're going to connect that right here. Then we, uh, to actually use these, we're going to go to our keyframes, press this little triangle thing. We'll see that we have this over here. These are our keyframes we want to move within our video right here. So then we'll actually find the third point right here. You're going to want to actually go to the third keyframe, which is the second one in the middle right here. We can see we have one, two, three. Make sure we're on the third one. Go back out to the edit tab, add a marker, and then you're just going to line up these two markers. They should be illegal. That's simple. Illegal. By following yeah. our transition right there. That's pretty much that. And our finishing touch right here is actually going to be adding the adjustment clip above. Uh, you see a little zoom effect in all my intros. I'm going to be showing you guys how you do that. So just go into your fusion tab once we've added an adjustment layer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press control space on our keyboard. You could either do blur mode curves, which is what I find better, or you could do transform. Uh, I'm going to show you transform because it's 100% free. So we'll go to transform right here and we will actually keyframe at the beginning. We'll do something like, let's say 2.59 or 2.5. I'm just going to do 2.5 to show you guys how to actually do it properly. Some of the setups. Then we go about 30 to 4. Let's do 45 frames in and I'll keyframe the size at one. So we can see so some of the setups that I checked goes like that, but it's super linear. doesn't look good. So we're going to open up our spline, check the transform, press this arrow thing, press control A, S on our keyboard. Then we're going to want to do copy this right here so some of the setups that boom zoom effects some of the setup super clean we love that so some of the setups that i check that's that all that's left to do really uh, i mean i already have music in my main part of the video right here so i just need to find music for the intro itself so let's go background music i'll find one of my songs that i use in all my videos so summer vibes type beat what i'll do is i'll always hit like <laughs> the beat drop on here like right on the so some of the set i'll actually turn it down to negative 20 should be good setups that i checked they should be illegal by Folic, and then just cut it right here Change the some down. of the setups that i checked out in my new video were so bad that they should be illegal looks By good Alex. i mean that's all we really need to do you got yourself a short but that's pretty much how you do it from there you just go to your deliver tab type in all the info that you need change the bit rate change the resolution render it out upload it to tiktok uh, or upload it to your youtube shorts page but that's actually how i edit my own tiktoks and shorts it's super basic i just cut everything down subtitles transition body of the actual Foot itself that I do intro effect music. Good to go, 100% done. If you guys did enjoy them, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a ton. We're getting super close to 100K, so make sure to support me. It helps me out a lot. And with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.